Hi guys, this is George here and today I'm going to be showing you how to get 300 frames per second on a 60 frames per second clip. Um, first of all, you'll need a PVR, uh, obviously because it shoots at 59.94 frames per second. And uh, if you've seen in my latest videos, I'll just show you one here. It's uh, just a little small twix, so I'll just skip to it. You see how it's really smooth and mostly when you twix or, 50, or 60 frames per second it's quite warpy ghosty you know whatever um, so I'm pretty much going to be showing you how to get it 300 frames per second on After Effects and uh, how to twix it properly and whatnot. but you'll, first you'll need to download uh, two two things here you'll need the Lagadith Lossless Video Codec and uh, the Virtual Dub uh, I'll put two to the links in the description and also um, this video goes to Zombified he taught me how to do this pretty much He's, his tutorials are brilliant and uh, thanks Zombified or Jord but anyway um, let's get started so once you have uh, a clip now okay I missed it apart you'll need to record uh, in this is only for Modern Warfare 3 sorry but you'll need to record 0 0.2 times speed which means it will be really slow um, that way you can just change it to 300 FPS so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I have a clip that I can maybe edit, I don't think I do uh, no. right um, what is this, is this 300 frames yeah, damn it. Um, is this? No. Okay, I'll just use this for instance. Now, this is this is a video I've already used, and uh, I'm gonna need to up open a basic fix. Uh, this is a video that I've already used. Uh, it's in actually one of my tutorials, not tutorials, in my my actual videos. So I need to try and make this tutorial quite quick because I don't want it taking forever to render and whatnot. And I always get that when I open up After Effects. So, anyway, um, I think my laptop's a little bit slow. Don't do this to me, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly import this uh, file. What are you doing? Go away. Okay, so here it is, uh, 15.94, which is the original clip. And I'm not too sure how long it is. 40 seconds. Right. Okay, well this might take a while to render. In fact, no, it shouldn't actually. So we'll just make the composition about 10 seconds at the most, because I don't want this going on forever and ever and ever and ever. So, I don't even know if that made a difference. Nah, it probably didn't, so... um, Oh god, this is going good. 45. No! Oh my god. Okay, sorry about this, guys. I've just totally messed this up. So, 0 45 frame, uh, well, seconds. And what I'll do is I'll just cut the clip because I, I don't want it um, going on forever and ever and ever. So, um, yeah, okay. I'll do. In fact. I'll get to the part where I want to twix it and then uh then I'll just pull up my socks. Right. So here I've pretty much got the part where he twixes it, I'm not twix it but reloads and uh whatnot. I'm not gonna do the full thing. So yeah. Anyway, so now all you gotta do is go to composition. Now what you do is don't add any magic bullet looks or don't do anything to this, just keep it a raw file or a raw clip even and we'll go to add to render queue and all this just keep the same you know best, full, whatever this is the part where you need to change into go to format and make this a JPEG sequence and that's it. Now all you have to do is make a new folder uh, which we're going to save the sequence to let's call it seek for now anyway so we'll save it in there and uh, we'll just render it and uh, if this is going to take quite a long time I'm 
probably will just pause this and come back when it's finished but it seems to be going pretty quick so I'll just pause it for now and uh, come back when okay guys I'm back and uh, well I just I recently made an error um, because I realized that the com the composition settings were at 40 seconds and the clip was only like 14 seconds long and it was rendering like 2000 frames so I just stopped it and uh, I shortened the composition settings down so sorry for keep you waiting obviously a fact I haven't kept you waiting it's been like a second since I paused it so anyway that's it now rendered and uh, I made a new folder because that one was just absolute bullshit because basically just rendered a bunch of black black frames um, because there was more than a thousand frames in it so I made a new sequence so I'll just delete that one and we'll just empty that okay so if we open up this now we have all the frames uh, there's still a few black ones but that's about two seconds worth of of frames so now what we've got to do is we've got to go into VDub and we're going to go to file open video file now go to the de destination where your sequence is now what to do is just um, select the first one and I know mine is black but um, just select the first frame and open it now. If you uh, if you do that, you can see that it actually just plays the rest of the file or the video. Now mine is really short because I made it like that, and I didn't want this to be a long tutorial, so I tried to make it short as possible. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to video, then go to frame rate, uh, go to change frame rate, and make this 300, and click OK. Now what you gotta do now is you gotta go back up to video, go to compression, go to Lagris lossless lossless codec, and uh, if this is checked, then just uncheck it because it doesn't really do nothing for me anyway. So then once you've selected that, click OK, go to so save as AVI, and we'll just make this uh, 300 FPS clip. And we'll save that, and now it's just rendering. Um, yet again, I don't know how how long this is going to take. So yeah, I'll probably just um, probably just stop this here, and I'll come back when when it's okay. We're back, and the the clip has finally rendered. And if we go uh, to the actual clip itself, we'll just put all these up here. And if you click properties go to details and now it says frame rate 300 frames per second so that's that's all good that's what we want um, so I'm gonna go back into After Effects and uh, I'm gonna hit just a new project and um, we're just gonna import that clip and uh, so if we just scroll through it and up here it says 300 FPS so that means you've done it right and uh, you'll see in a minute I'm going to try and twixter some of this uh, I'll twixter twixter this part here so I'm going to go up to effects I'm going to go to RE Vision plugins twixter in fact no actually I'm going to use twixter pro uh, twixter pro and I'm going to change and you can see here it's 29 frames per second and uh, say we just change this to 3 for now um, it's going to be really warpy and basically it's not going to look nice you can see the ghosting um, on the screen there and uh, so yeah that's really not what we're looking for so let's press uh, control Z and uh, change this to 300 and uh, we'll just reveal this in the timeline so then we'll just create a little, a little bit of keyframe in here, and uh, so now uh, it's hundred percent. We're gonna ha we'll make a keyframe, and we're gonna go through. Uh, no, actually, we're gonna go, we're gonna go um, about. We'll just go one frame forward, and we'll make this five, and uh, we'll just. 
go like a couple of seconds forward, make another keyframe, go one keyframe forward again, and we'll make it 100 back to to 100. I know, in fact, that's not even it's not even much of a clip, is it? So I'll just try and pram ram lot ram preview this. Um, so sorry if I'm quite uh quite um, annoying in this tutorial. It was just uh, it's my first tutorial and I'm just a tad nervous. So uh, and I've got a cold, so it doesn't really help matters. So um. <coughs> Uh, hurry up, please. So yes, you can see for watching the the actual preview, it there's absolutely no ghosting. Uh, it's hell of a smooth, basically, and uh, you have to have like an eagle vision if you can see ghosting there. I mean, there probably is just a tiny bit of warping and whatnot, but it's really not noticeable. Um, so yeah, there's also other ways. Uh, well, there's other bits to add to this to make it just a tad smoother. So, as you can see there, just just a little tiny preview of seconds. You can see it's really, really smooth. Now, that's not much of a preview, but you get what I mean. It's it's hell of a smooth, basically. And you know, this is this will just make your editing so much better. Like, it's unbelievable how much this can change it because um people nowadays they upload clips and uh how long have I been? oh my god this is gonna take a long time to render but they upload clips and uh they have Twitch running it and it's you know it's not it's not really attractive to watch when when there's a lot of warping and ghosting so and uh, this is just a way to help everyone uh, I mean I've had a few requests on on my last video um, to make a tutorial about it, so uh, here you are, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this clip, or not clip, but tutorial. But um, <laughs> yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and um, I'll see you guys next time if I have any other tutorials, which I don't know if I will. But even if I do, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll keep subscribe to keep updated with all all of my things and uh yeah see you later bye